Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel 100 Ideas. In order to build a safe and functional gazebo, you need to do everything right. Before starting construction, you should take into account the following nuances. First, choose the right place to place. Based on fire standard safety, the building must be at a safe distance from the gas pipelines and power lines. It's also important that you don't grow trees and dense shrubs that can easily catch fire. In order not to inconvenience itself, the distance between the house and the gazebo should be such that smoke and salt from the stoves did not enter the house. Second, the foundation must be higher than rainfall, meltwater and snow that's a characteristic of your terrain. Otherwise, the operational life of the building will decrease at times, since the base and walls will not be protected from water and moisture. Third, protect from moisture not only the foundation but the whole construction structure. To protect it from precipitation, it's important to do the roof. Fourth, another important factor is the comfort of vacationers. It not only affects the convenience and comfort of vacationers, but also corresponds to the level of fire safety. How, you ask? More spacious and larger arbor, the further from the open fire the barbecue stoves will be people and furniture. Dimensions should be such that people and furniture were further than one meter from the rear and side walls of the furnace and on a distance of at least three meters from the stove. Fifth, in order for moisture that has got inside not to accumulate in floors, it must be done with the slope of 2-3 degrees in the direction from fireboxes. Sixth, functionality also affects size. For example, some won't have other equipment, such as a smokehouse, grill, because it's quite a gazebo with barbecue, and barbecue can also be built, but it Follows take into account that the dimensions of the structure put a strain on the foundation. The larger the furnace, the greater the wear. To solve this problem, these elements can be made removable to prevent excess load. Seventh, if you live in an area with strong winds, you need to take care of a blank wall from the side, from where the wind often blows. Then stay the air will become even more comfortable. Materials for construction When choosing material for construction, you need to consider its main property was fire resistance. Since this is about arbor with a stove, the material should not be easily ignited. For the construction of such arbors, choose stone, brick, wooden beam or logs, metal. Most often the gazebo is built of brick or stone since they have a high level of fire resistance and look presentable. Her make a half-open type so that the necessary air exchange and ventilation. The floor is laid out of refractory tiles or from other materials that are not exposed burning. The structure of wooden beam or logs is significantly inferior stone building as the tree can easily catch fire. Yet many make it from this material, since it costs much cheaper. To protect the tree from fire, it is treated with the flame retardant, composition that gives wood refractoriness. Also to save material from fire, the barbecue stove itself is not installed in arbor and a little further on the site. Metal buildings are reliable, but at a high price. To make such a design is much more difficult. Most commonly used combined option to reduce cost. From what to build is up to you. It all depends on the amount which you have and it desires. Having considered all the details, let's figure out how to make a gazebo yourself. Stage 1. Preparatory work. So, first you need to choose a place to be located gazebo. Given the standards, decide on a suitable place and prepare it. If the site has large irregularities, they need removed so that the surface is even. Decide what material you will build from. Need him purchase and deliver to the place of construction. Prepare the necessary tool. To have an idea of the future construction, you need to make blueprints to build on them. This should be the layout 
plan of the gazebo, its dimensions and place on the barbecue. If you cannot think it over and fix it on paper yourself, use ready-made drawings. Thanks to the plan, you can determine the amount of material you need, which tools will be needed and figure out how much it will cost your building. Stage 2. Design choice. Appearance also plays an important role, therefore you must choose design that would fit into the interior of your site. Configurations can be open or closed, rectangular, hexagonal, or round, large or small. Choice for you. Design needs to be thought out when drawing up a plan. You can design a gazebo in the following styles. Classic style. Its difference is simplicity, clarity, lines and sophistication. Traditionally used concrete, brick, ceramics, glass and natural stone. Country style. The main task is comfort, which is achieved using wood materials. The proximity to nature and the arbor can take the form of a cowboy saloon, Native American wigwam, a cabin in the forest, or a fabulous house of fairy tales. Is style. Naturalness, nobleness, fragility and inexpressive color can be conveyed thanks to stone, wood, fabric and glass. Common examples of this style are buildings in form of Chinese canopy or Japanese pagoda. Is style determined by the presence of bright colors that should prevail when clearance? Ethno style. The brutal style of the savage, which can be achieved using an untreated log house or durable untreated branches. As a result, the gazebo will look like a hermit hut or like a giant bird nest. Using modern styles, such as minimalism, constructivism or modernism, your preferences influence your choice. Such styles are not limited to certain forms and materials. You can decorate your gazebo with the help of ornamental plants. For example, you can make hanging flower pots with flowers or braid decorative ivy. To make the home like interior cozy and beautiful, use various figures and sculptures, original vases and various lamps. If you plan to build a gated type, then you can install various interior items inside, for example, a table, upholsters, furniture, mirrors and paintings. After you have finally decided on the design and design, you have a plan ready and purchased all the necessary materials, you can start construction. We hope this video was useful to you. Like it, write your comments and subscribe to our channel.